The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, He is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel today tells us, Come, follow me. The one who read our Gospel is Father J.M. Berme from Cagayan. He is 27 years old, 11 month priest, newly ordained. He is about 220 pounds. <laughs> and the only child, the only child of Mama Josie and Papa Melvin, only child is going to the mission, Argentina, this January 11. Because the Lord said, come, follow me. I cannot imagine the, the sacrifice, especially for Papa Melvin, Mama Josie. But because God called him, Father will go with the mission. And remember this, Father J.M., it is only bodies that are separated, but hearts remain united, especially in Him, for whom the sacrifice is made of leaving all that is dearest. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to follow you. And 2024, ito po ang invitation ni Lord sa ating lahat. You come, follow me. Today, let's set our GPS pa yan. Destination, where to? To follow the Lord wherever He leads me. Our final destination, by the way, is heaven. Don't forget that. We're all just passing by. So today, in the sacred heart, we say, Lord, we will follow you. Sa natin 2024, you'll encounter a lot of things. Kahit anong biyahe, mayroon mga delays, mayroon yung mga obstructions, may mga detour. But keep following the Lord. Huh? 
wherever the Lord leads you. And you follow the Lord not alone. Iba-ibang mga klaseng tao makakasama mo. May mga magagandang kasama, okay lang, masayahin. Mayroon din naman mga kasama mong ang tatapang, ang susungit, ang yayabang. Just follow the Lord. And this is maybe the challenge for all of us. One more before we go for the journey is heart check up muna tayo. ECG ba tawag doon? Okay. Make sure you don't carry excess luggage. I remember when one pilgrimage walk, mayroon kaming kasama na mayroong hila-hila palaging trolley. Ewan ko, we never know kung ang laman nun. Pero everywhere we went, kasama niya yung trolley. Kahit tutulungan namin, Papa, Lolo, to, kami na po, ano, hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi niya mabitaw-bitawan. Fine, we respect that. But you know what happened? He slowed down the group. He became a extra baggage for us. Kasi, tsaka marami siyang issues about that. So, in other words, what am I saying? Kapatid, kung pwede lang, travel light. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo, bigatin ba yan? Not only physically, travel light po tayo dito sa puso. So, what are the sins of the heart? Check. Check up tayo. Nga. The first one is H-E-A-R-T. H, hatred in the heart. Are there people you have not yet forgiven? Are there people na inis na inis ka, ayaw mo man lang makita o maisip? Ilang taon na yan. Daladala mo pa rin yung excess luggage na yan. Excess. It's not necessary to bring hatred along. So today in this Mass, Lord, iwanan ko na sa inyo yung mga taong hindi ko mapatawad, mga taong nakasakit sa akin, nakakasira ng peace ko, bahala ka na sa kanila. Leave it in God's heart. Leave them in God's heart. Okay? And forgive. Let go, let God. Palagi mo siyang naiisip. For all you know, He doesn't even know that you're thinking about yung hurts mo. Sabi nga po ng isang famous writer natin, Soc Rodrigo. Nandun ako galit na galit, nagngingit-ngit, nalaman ko na lang yung kaaway ko, tulog na tulog at naghihilik. Be good to yourself. Leave hatred behind. Hindi tayo makafocus because of many times of letter E. Envy in your heart. An envious person is never at peace. You know why? You keep comparing yourself with others. More fortunate sila. Mars blessed sila. Bakit sila mayroon? Ako wala. Ang bait ko pa naman, Lord. What's your problem? You are comparing yourself with others. Don't compare yourself with others as far as possible. Just keep saying, I know, Lord, I am blessed in my own way. At peace ka na. You know, the secret of peace is contentment. Okay lang. Pero kung marami kang ambisyon, pangarap na marami kang Mahirap ang biyahe mo, kapatid. Ma Maligali. So, Lord, I'll just follow you. I know you'll be with me. A. Check your heart, ha? Huh? Anger. High blood ka ba? Ang team song mo, me and me against the world. Lahat ng issue, papatulad mo. You have to be so right in everything. Kapatid, may I remind you again with the heart? Somebody said, in the end, it's better to be kind than to be right. Right ka nga, ang dami ka namang nasasaktan, ang dami kang nagugulo. Think about kindness. Huwag ka na magdala ng anger. Sayang ang buhay. Life is short. Kung namatay kang malungkot, di malungkot kang namatay. 
because you cannot give up your anger. Lord, we surrender to you, heart. Whatever angers us. R, ito. Marami yata sa atin meron ito. Resentments. Tagalog, matampuhin ka. Hindi ako napansin. Hmm. Okay lang. Okay lang naman. Ay, huwag ka nang mag-entertain ng negative thoughts that you are not loved, that you are not cared for, that you are nobody. I am a child of God. That's all you need to remember. I'll follow my God. Doesn't matter what people think or say. Basta ako, Lord. Alam ko, mahal po niyo ako. Pero mahirap mga iba, pati kay Lord, nagtatampo. Yun ang mas mahirap kasi I can understand that, but huwag ka nang magtampo kay Lord. Please remember this. Your greatest ally is God. Siya lang talaga nandun. Tapos tatampuhan mo pa siya. And you know what? God understands kung may tampo ka and all that. I remember when my papa died, parang medyo nagtampo ako kasi Lord, sabi ko, I bargained, Lord, let my father live. He was in St. Luke's recovering from a aneurysm uh, procedure. I mean, they, they were able to check the aneurysm, pero multi-organ ko na eh. I said, Lord, medyo may pa ako mga natawag nito, bargaining. Di ba, Lord, nagpari naman ako para lang, pwede bang pagalingin naman yung papa ko. I really prayed. And then in the end, he died. For a while, I said, yeah. But then what made me realize this, this. God owes me nothing. I owe to God everything. So who am I? Who am I na magtatampo pa? Lord, sorry po ah. Sabi ni Lord, it's okay lang, Jerry. I'm big enough. I can take it. Don't worry. Kapatid, huwag ka na magtampo kay Lord. Ha? O sa mga mahal mo sa buhay, huwag na believe that those you love, love you. And stop doubting. Once you doubt, tuloy-tuloy na yung doubt. Eh. Check it right away. Di ba? BTS. Ano na uli yun? Believe, trust, and surrender. Take that road as you go following the Lord. And eh, T is yung tinatawag nating timidity of heart. Ano yung timid na tao? Uh, yung sa Ilocano, yung ito timid. Yung, uh, sige, siguro dyan. Okay. Yung <laughs> wala kang decision ba? Medyo, si siguro. Oh. Timidity means you could have done something good but you did not do it. Why? Eh, baka anong sabihin nila eh. You could have corrected something, but you did not do it. Safety. When you follow the Lord, you have to obey whatever He tells you. Sisters and brothers, this is my prayer for all of us on this first, first Friday of the 2024. Let us delete and load the sins of the heart. Hatred, Envy, anger, resentments, and timid, timidity. Ready? Biyahe na tayo. Travel light. Follow the Lord wherever He tells you to go. Stay focused on the Lord, not on the load. Keep focusing on the Lord. Keep going to the light. Marami sa atin kasi, we refuse to leave the darkness. The darkness of doubt, the darkness of uh, anger. Marami tayong doubts, eh. Ay mga darkness, eh. Keep going to the light. Don't stay in the darkness. Just follow the light. Parang yung firefly. Diba may kumikukutikutitap? You follow the light. You follow the light, and all will be well. May kasama po tayo pala sa pagbiyahe natin, si Mama Mary. The lady who believed 
who trusted and who surrendered. Mama Mary, please be with us. We do not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future in his sense. And that is enough. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Please bow your heads and listen now to the Lord for His instructions to you and to me as we start our journey this 2024. You are not alone. God is with you always and in always. Follow the light. Get out from the darkness. And travel light. Let go of baggage and luggages. You don't need for the journey. And may the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. Sisters and brothers, be not afraid. I am with you always and in always. Always listen to the words of God. So dear friends, we now rise and pray the prayer of the faithful. 